It is basically a self balancing two wheel self balancing bot which which has a jumping functionality. This bot can uh, vary its length. So we have used two DC motors to actuate uh, to vary the height and two wheels uh, two BLDC motors for balancing. So this linkage basically the angle between these le uh, links would be constant and we have used uh, the gearbox for this. So basically for four links we require only two uh, two actuators. Yes, sir, mathematics on the couple as in the model is going to the target position which is defined by the cylinder. So we can adjust the height from minimum of 6 cm to maximum of 21 cm. The board also has a jumping functionality. You should you know, just verify design by a lot of people or all of the teammates. Because if there is any flaw in a design and you just progress to the next step, it can cause a lot of delays because you may need to redesign the whole thing. Because of one that component, you may need to redesign the another component. So that may cause a chain reaction which will delay your project. Spend less time uh, on software, but do it properly and spend more time on testing. Don't use a jumper wires, use a proper wire. So we were like working on electronics for four days continuously, just trying to fix one simple solution, which is fixed by just switching the jumper wires to normal wire. I was part of VN3 internship last year too. So because of that, college placement was very easy to me. I got like a more than average package in the college placement. So the thing the first interview was, was an internship in ID Bombay. So they are very curious about what I did here and how I got this. So yeah, so that really helped me a lot in my placements. What I noticed is a change in mindset. So before that I had not explored so many domains. Through this project, I explored all the sides to a, uh, building a robot. So the mechanical side, the electrical side and the software side. So meeting so many new people. And here people say, uh, people dare to do things differently. So doing this helped me a lot in changing my mindset. And now I have the confidence that I can explore any domain going forward. First reason students should work hard to get this internship is to live in such an amazing place called IIT Bombay. So the vibe here is just different. The people are so motivated in IIT Bombay. The all labs are accessible 24 hours. So it gives a motivation to complete the project. The second thing is that the level of project is not like mini project. These are pretty complex. You need to think on it, you need to work around. They just won't be done in one day. Our mentors and even uh, Professor Kavi Aya, he was so open with all of us and he motivated us in a different way. Like we could talk to him about any idea, even if it's a trivial one. So I would say like uh, make the most of this opportunity you get here because this is unique and uh, it is definitely worth experiencing as a college student.